Magwanja Osufuche. Magwanja Osufuche, a name that sends shivers down the spines of many Kenyans, is synonymous with the chilling world of mortuaries. A former morgue attendant, Magwanja's experiences have captivated and terrified audiences in equal measure. His claims of paranormal encounters and gruesome realities of his work have thrust him into the limelight, particularly after his appearance on the Obina show live. Magwanja's job description at the morgue in Nairobi was a harrowing one. His duties included confirming the deaths of individuals brought in, a process often referred to as finishing them. This gruesome task involved ensuring that any remaining life signs were extinguished, a practice some found difficult to stomach. <laughs> pale nyuma ya mochari ukirushwa huku ndani nione bado unatetemeka kidogo na kupasulia nyuma huko ndio sasa ukiwekwa hata kwa sanduku watu wasione ulipasuliwa huko aone umekufa tu kwenye Magwanja story incited a wave of reactions from the Kenyan public many were glued to their screens enthralled by the hair raising details of his experiences Others remained unconvinced, questioning the veracity of his claims and attributing his encounters to an overactive imagination or a desire for publicity. The lack of concrete evidence to support his claims fueled the skepticism. Like this is true story. This is true story. Why does it sound made up? This is true story. Okay, twende like na kusikiza. Whether Magwanja's encounter with the paranormal truly transpired remains a matter of personal belief. The shadowy and unsettling nature of mortuaries, coupled with the emotional toll of working with death daily, could undoubtedly have played a role in shaping his experiences. The human mind is adept at creating narratives to explain the unknown, and the stress of his work environment could have manifested as a paranormal encounter. <laughs> Magwanja Osufuche's story serves as a reminder of the hidden world that exists within the walls of the mortuaries. His experiences, regardless of their factual basis, provide a glimpse into the emotional toll such a profession can take. More importantly, it highlights the enduring human fascination with the afterlife and the unknown. Magwanja's story will likely continue to be debated and dissected, a testament to the power a single encounter can have on the collective imagination. It's already late. I have to go to school. So, today I am Kim. So, it has been um, next, next Friday, it will be um, biology practical. <laughs> Digital content creator and brand influencer Purity Visheno, popularly known as Pretty Vishi, recently left netizens with mixed feelings after her shocking confessions at the Obina show live. Serena Saviet Apple. Saviet. In the past, the content creator had opened up about the challenges she endured with her stepfather, but never in depth about her biological father's act on her. Your stepdad? Mm -hmm. How old were you? Pretty Vichy disclosed that her stepfather allegedly sexually abused her when she was in class 3 and that she did not take any action because he threatened to kill her if she told her mom. You tell me. If I try to tell my mom, he will kill me. Every morning before he goes to work, because my mom was busy, he could do shh. And therefore, as a kid, she used to cry because she was scared. Pretty Vichy also got candid about how she views herself, physically highlighting that she knows she's not desirable or beautiful to look at 
something that hurts deeply as illustrated by her emotional tears. Okay, me, I'm ugly. Why should the guy leave the girlfriend and come to me? Like, what do I, do I have to offer? You're ugly. Yes, I am ugly. What shows you're ugly? I'm a, why would you say you're ugly? Mm, I'm just ugly. I even feel like crying. The 22-year-old recounted feeling isolated during childhood due to being overweight, explaining that she would sit on the floor at school because none of her classmates wanted to sit with her, leading to a lack of friends and ongoing feelings of rejection. I used to sit down. While others are sitting on desk, I sit down, down on the floor, Numa, yeah. because I'm fat. Pretty Vichy father opened up on how the neighbor's kids did not want to play with her. She used to isolate herself, and till now, she does not have friends because she felt undeserving. Watch to Majirani, they don't want to play with me because they feel like I cannot run with them. I cannot do whatever they are doing. I cannot play Kati. If you know Kati, I cannot play Leropia Kuzungusha. No, they don't want to play with me. You know, so I used to isolate myself so much. It may affect up to now. I cannot, like, have friends in a, like, no, normal. Say, you can't have friends normally. With a dedicated audience and a thriving online presence, the Obina show life shows no signs of slowing down. Obina, ever the entertainer, is known for his live tours and events, further solidifying his connections with fans. The future might see the show expanding its format, incorporating audience interaction, live performances, or even venturing beyond interviews. One thing is certain. Obina's dedication to his craft and his audience ensures that the Obina show life will continue to be a beacon of laughter, inspiration, and a reflection of the Kenyan entertainment spirit. We gotta pop a little something, something. We gotta pop a little something, something. <laughs> Let's engage and tell us what you think in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more captivating Nairobi juice content. Until next time, stay curious, stay inspired, stay informed, and keep spreading love wherever you go. Thank you.